Hello and welcome. I'm Mike Stavrakos, a solutions engineer with the Siemens Industry, and I'll be taking you through the installation of the FEC 920 thermal energy calculator today. Installation of this unit is simple. Included with each unit is a quick start guide, which I'll be reviewing in this video today. When mounting the unit, you need to secure it directly to a wall or to an electrical cabinet back panel. Before mounting it on an alternate surface, ensure that the surface can support at least four times the weight of the unit. There are four mounting holes on this unit, and each of them can take up to a 5 16 inch bolt or an M6 metric size bolt. When wiring the unit, first ensure that the power is off. Then open the unit using a flathead screwdriver by releasing the latches on the side. As you can see, power is already connected, but you're going to need to independently wire the power into this unit yourself. We'll do that now. As I mentioned earlier, this is a demo unit which already has power connected to it. So when you receive the unit in the field, you'll need to independently wire power to the unit. Begin by removing one of the NEMA covers located right next to the RJ45 connector, also referenced as location 15 in the quick start guide. You'll notice that you have five cable glands in the unit when you receive it. Three of them are single cable glands, which are used for the power connection and the two channels of flow meters, and two of them are dual cable glands, which are used for the two channels of dual trans temperature transmitters. Take the single cable gland and connect it to the open hole now available for the power cord. Use the plastic washer included to secure it on either side. Then, wire the power cord through the gland. For an AC unit, begin by connecting the ground wire to the green and yellow terminal located on the bottom of the fuse block. Then, connect the neutral wire to the terminal labeled M in the middle of the fuse block. And finally, connect the hot or the positive wire to the terminal labeled F1 on the fuse block. For a DC unit, follow the same steps for wiring power as an AC unit, connecting the ground wire to the green and yellow terminal, the neutral wire to the N terminal, and the plus 24 volt DC wire to the F1 terminal. After you've connected the wires, simply tighten the cable gland from the bottom to ensure a NEMA seal around the wire. To wire the flow meters and temperature transmitters to the unit, the process is similar to the power connections. For channel 1 flow meters, run the wiring through the front left port used here to demonstrate the power connection. Connect the wires as the wiring diagram shows inside the front panel. The flow meter output signal should be scaled to the configured FEC 920 analog input range, which by default is 0 to 100 gallons per minute. Also, it's important to note that the flow meter must provide loop power for this application. Connect the temperature transmitters also as shown on the wiring diagram inside the panel door. But use the dual cable glands for this, which were provided with the unit and shown earlier. For channel 1, remove the protective cover in the back left. Terminals 1, 4, 7, and 10 all provide plus 24 volt DC loop power. Also, for a system where RTDs are already being directly run to the FEC 920, you will need to install temperature transmitters inside the unit. Extra DIN rail space has been provided for these situations. Simply wire the RTD cables through the cable glands and connect the transmitter per the transmitter instructions. As with the flow meter, the temperature transmitters must be scaled to the configured FEC 920 analog input range which by default is 32 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, to connect digital communications to the unit, simply plug the Ethernet cable into the pre-installed RJ45 connector. The standard communication protocol is BACnet IP, but you can change that based on your preferences. Visit the FEC920 help page at usa.siemens.com backslash FEC 920 Health Docs for application documents on how to set up the digital communications. Now that the flow meter and temperature sensors are set up, simply close the unit, making sure to secure the latches in place, and connect the power. 
The FEC920 will boot up immediately and begin collecting data. That concludes the installation of the FEC920. Thank you. Da, da.